Well, it's 2024 and Donald Trump's out here doing what he does best, i.e. being simultaneously laughably nonsensical and also existentially terrifying. That's right, but that's sort of the Trump experience, right? The general Trump experience is like going to Texas and being shot by a rodeo clown. Like, this abject nightmare is completely preposterous, but not surprising somehow. That's what it's like living under Trump. And if you don't know what I mean, this week his lawyers are in court arguing that he should be immune from prosecution for any of the acts he committed as president, which is a funny argument to me because I feel like the inherent implication of it is his lawyers stand there like, listen, if this guy hadn't been the president, you could prosecute the ever-loving shit out of him for all the wildly illegal stuff he has done, but he was the president, so it ain't shit you can do. Sorry about your luck, right? It's like, ah, yes, supreme executive power, accountable to no one and above the law, just as our founding fathers famously favored. I believe it was Benjamin Franklin who said, hey, y'all, I was thinking now that we whip that tyrannical king's ass, the first thing we should do is imbue one singular position with the inviolable authority of almighty God. What do you think about that? And before anybody asks, I think both checks and balances are stupid. You know, founding father stuff. Now, this argument is both is com completely un-American, but it also doesn't make any sense, man. It's like you listen to Trump and his people, and they're just like, all right, first of all, I should be immune from prosecution for any of the stuff I did as president. Secondly, if I win this year, first thing I'm going to do, prosecute Joe Biden for all the stuff he has done as president. It's like, what? How, first of all, what stuff? And they're just like, just border stuff, stuff involving Mexico. Don't worry about it. Just, just stuff. It's like, okay, so you're saying that Joe Biden, the president, should be prosecuted for nebulous crimes, which you can neither identify nor provide any evidence for. But Donald Trump, the president, should be immune from prosecution for seditious crimes, the evidence for which the entire world has been privy to. And they're like, yep, exactly. You got it. It's like, how? How does that make sense? They're like, well, because because Donald Trump's awesome and Joe Biden sucks pretty clear dude it's crazy and they won't back off of it either like the the judges that they were arguing this to they tried to press them on it you know they were like okay let me ask you this so you, are you saying that if a president used seal team six to assassinate a political rival in broad daylight they could not be prosecuted for that and his lawyers were like well no they'd have to be impeached and convicted but they couldn't be prosecuted and it's like who's gonna impeach the guy that's publicly murdering his political opponents like you just murder your way into an unimpeachable position you can murder every damn one of them if you want to why not also does this mean that joe biden could use seal team six to murder your tang tinted ass is that how it works or if joe biden don't like the results of this forthcoming election he could just overturn them and there ain't shit y'all can do about is that what it means? And they're just they're like, no, no, of course not. No, it doesn't mean any of that. Why? What makes it different? And they're just like, because Donald Trump's awesome and Joe Biden sucks. And a full one third of our fellow Americans will hear that argument and be like, makes perfect sense to me. What the f is going on, man? I know I'm going to say this 50, 11 times this year, but y'all, we've got to get November right because I'm becoming increasingly worried if we don't, there ain't going to be no coming back. I'll be right back. What's up, YouTube? Back with more in just a second, but I wanted to let you know that this week's Rantings and Ravens is once again brought to you by the good folks at Private Internet Access, the world's most trusted VPN provider with over 30 million downloads. Listen, y'all, it's a brand new year, and if you're still out here in 2024 logging on with no protection, you're just begging to be compromised. It's rough out in these streets, y'all, but not to worry. PIA's VPNs hide your IP address and encrypt your internet connection, thus shielding you and your digital privacy from the prying eyes of the shady types in the online world. That's not all their VPNs can do, though. They can also make it appear as though you're logging on from any country on Earth. Why? Well, so you can see what that country's got on Netflix. Did you know it's different? Because it is. South African Netflix may beat the brakes off of American Netflix, and now with PIA, you can find out. Their VPNs are available across all platforms, and now you can use one PIA account to safeguard unlimited devices. Every device in my household is on my PIA account. Works like a charm. So if you like the sound of that, here's what you do. Click the link in the description below to try private internet access today for 83% off with four months free. Signing up always includes 24-7 customer support and a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what more do you need to hear? If you think any of that sounds overly technical or complicated, it's not. There's the app. There's the button. You push the button. And just like that, it's on. That's all you got to do. It couldn't be simpler. So try private internet access today. All right, YouTube, man, we're back. Uh, listen, the other thing that Do Donald Trump did this week that I didn't have time to get to, but I wanted to, is he said that uh, he hopes that there's a Great Depression this year because, you know, it would help out his chances and whatnot. And I was like, so that's fun. That's a good quality. You want a leader, but it's not just a leader. It's the entire GOP. They do that, dude. Like, anything, if, a, if Democrats are in charge, bad shit hits for them so hard. Like, dude, we get, a, we get a terrorist attack when Democrats are in charge. They all start popping terror boners left and right, dude. They get so pumped up, so excited. They actively root for bad shit to happen 
to actual Americans because it increases the probability of them having a favorable result in a forthcoming election. All they care about is that Democrats get shit on or get blamed for stuff. Well, the actual state of anyone's lives in this country means less than nothing to them, and it drives me insane. And I, and I do not think that this is a both sides type of thing. I mean, I don't. I can only speak for myself, but I'm a godless commie liberal, and I know that when Donald Trump is in power, I still want things to go good because I live in this goddamn country. You know what I mean? I have kids that live in this country. I don't understand these people's mentality or how anyone else is on board with it, but I guess it all comes down to just not giving a shit about anybody else other than yourself and your own means and ends and goals, and when you keep that in mind, it all kind of checks out the uh, rabid cult of personality they've built around the biggest narcissist on planet Earth. God help us all. All right, listen, so thank you all for watching. I'm going to put these boxes up here. This is still my comedy special as of now, I reckon. Then you can subscribe to the channel, put podcasts and stuff on here in addition to these silly videos. An important one to me is this other circle, TreyCrowder.com. I'm a stand-up comedian. That's what I really do. Come see me live. Maybe if I'm coming to your town, you come out. It'll be fun. I'd appreciate it. Either way, if y'all keep watching these silly things, I'll keep making them. I appreciate it. Love you like chicken. See you. Bye.